Today what we're going to be talking about is components. How do we take bootstrap templates in particular and, and really leverage them to their maximum capability is by adding components. Kind of snap in easy pieces that we can just pop into to bootstrap and have the CSS and the JavaScript do all the work. One good example of something like that is a carousel. Everybody's seen these. You go to Amazon, you look at the little product carousel. The whole point of a carousel is to promote some sort of deal, some sort of call to action to drive you deeper into the website, kind of pack a bunch of info into, into one spot. So how do we do that with Bootstrap? Real easy. What we're gonna do here, um, this file is just one of the stock templates off of the Start Bootstrap website. So everybody remembers that uh, Bootstrap templates, if you go to Bootstrap templates, one of the first websites that comes up is this Start Bootstrap website, right? So I just downloaded one of the templates off of this website, the creative one in particular. Um, so with that template unzipped, I unzipped it and put all the, the files in here. I also prepped a couple of files that will be up on Canvas for banners, which we're gonna link into here in a minute. You guys can download those and use those. Um, I'm gonna open this index file right into brackets. So you pop that index file open into brackets and Here's how easy it is to work with Bootstrap and, and add these components in. How do, you, how do you make your website more robust? First things first, let's figure out where we want this carousel to go. So let's open up this website in a browser and let's check to see where we want this carousel to go. I'm thinking I wanna add the carousel um, right above the services. You can put it anywhere you want, but I figure that'd be not, maybe an easy spot to carve out where this carousel goes. So I'm gonna put it right above services so I'm gonna go into my template and all you gotta do is go start at the top and work your way down and, or you can do a control F if you really want to find it quickly. You can do control F and type in services and the first thing that lights up will be the href for the button up top in the nav. So below that, ah, here we go. Here's where my services start because I can see the div ID says services, right? So that control F is particularly useful with these bootstrap templates. So now that I know where I want my carousel at, it might not be a bad idea to uh, you know, carve out a div for that or something like that. I'm just gonna slop it right in there, which isn't great practice, but it's a little faster. So I've got line 86 is where I'm gonna plug mine at. Here's what you do. Let's make this real easy. Go to the web, new tab, type in bootstrap carousel. Bootstrap Carousel, the first thing that comes up, the very first link is the Bootstrap website, right? Getbootstrap.com and it says Carousel. This is great. You go straight to this website. This website has a ton of great stuff you can just copy and paste directly from, which is the whole point of Bootstrap. So this is a component, right? This whole component section has things that you can copy and paste into your website, just like I'm gonna do with this carousel, right? So here we go, here's how we do this. You can read this how it works at your leisure. What I'm gonna do is scroll right down to a carousel with indicators, which is the typical carousel right here, typical carousel with indicators. They also have a carousel with captions and indicators as well. I don't want captions because it's more complicated. I'm just gonna do the carousel with the indicators, right? I'm not even gonna read this code. You guys probably wanna read through it, but here's how easy it can be. Let's grab this code. We're gonna copy it. We're gonna go directly into the section right above our services. Make sure you're not in between a div and paste it. Save, right? All we have to do, this carousel comes in three pieces. Here is the wrapper for the carousel. The first piece is the carousel indicators, which are the little dots, little dash lines beneath it, one, zero, one, two for three slides. If you want more than three, three slides, all you gotta do is copy this indicator line, paste out this indicator, change the number, right? And you've got another indicator popped in there. Now, I, I don't have four slides. So zero, one, two, three, four. I only have three, so I'm gonna delete that out of there. The next chunk is the actual carousel slides. This is where the pictures go. So carousel enter, that's the, the row for the, the carousel slides. If you look how I found that, IMG, SRC, that's the slides. The SRC is the slide names. I have three slides already built for this that you guys can use. I put these inside an IMG subfolder inside, inside my structure. 
and I named them banners one, two, and three. So I'm gonna have img forward slash banner one. Now again, wherever your guy's stuff is at is where you're gonna put your uh, put your structure. My is img forward slash. So go ahead and link your images in there. If you have more than three images, you just add another one of these IMG SRCs in there. Uh, yeah, now the carousel item has to be the wrapper for that. Notice, just look for commonalities here. Carousel item is at, around each uh, item that we've got. Active is the first one for the active class. You just paste in another one. Here, down here, these are the, the, the data control slides, the little arrows, the forward and back arrows. So now that's it, the thing's rigged up. In theory, if I've done this right, all you have to do is replace the stuff that's in the IMG SRC with your file path and your images. Bootstrap does the rest for you. Let's check to see if I messed it up. If we go out to our web page, here it is, if I refresh it. Ah, check it out, there we go. Here are the three slides, banner one, banner two, banner three. They're in my website. I'm ready to go, that's it. All you gotta do is go to the components section of the Bootstrap website. You can even go just Google Bootstrap components. And there are lots of these things out there that you can go, and this takes you right to that section on the website. So all these components, there's tons of these components that you guys can go and copy and paste into your website, like different you know, uh, nav bars, like this carousel, things like that. All you guys have to worry about is the HTML. You read through how the thing works on the website. It'll actually tell you exactly how the thing works. But it's really as simple as grabbing the right HTML and rigging up the right pieces. So Bootstrap, again, kind of think of it as, as the engine that drives your website. All you gotta do is snap the right pieces onto the front end. So hopefully that made sense. Hopefully you guys can get um, these banner rotators going in here, the little carousels going in here. Um, the indicators all work, all that kind of thing. You just swap your images into it. So there you go. If you need any help with that, again, you can contact me on Canvas. I can make extra videos.